Great. Okay, so I'm going to call to order this guiding principle strategic planning ad hoc committee uh, meeting for Wednesday, September the 21st. This is 1.03 p.m. Uh, roll call. We'll do the roll call. Uh, James. Present. Tom. Present from Here. Tom. Uh, Wyatt. Here. Melissa. Ready. And Carrie. Finally back. Um, okay, so we'll move on then to the approval of the minutes from our September 7th meeting. Um, it was attached to the agenda. Uh, do I have a motion? So moved. Second. All right, I have a motion by Tom and a second by Wyatt. All in favor? Aye. All right, motion passes. Wonderful. So I actually wrote a little something different in our agenda today. I said, uh, prepare a presentation of final strategic plan document to the Livingston City Commission. So that's um, our charge today. And I know Wyeth and I had talked a little bit. Um, he was, he said he could put together a very brief uh, PowerPoint presentation that we would present to the, to the commission. Um, and we, I have confirmed, I confirmed again today that we will be on the November 1st agenda of the city commission. Good. So, um, so November 1st at 530? 530. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Are we are we doing those in mixed in person or is it always Zoom? Or? Pretty much Zoom. Yeah, we're Zooming at this point. We don't have a space to have a hybrid meeting where we actually have space for enough people to attend. If we actually had probably more than five people attend, we wouldn't be able to let any more in. So um, okay, that's where we're at. So you're going to be doing Zoom meetings for the foreseeable future, I guess. Yes, at this point, I I asked again today um, where we might be, and they're looking into it, but um, we don't have a great option at this point. So. Okay. Well, anyway, that was, gonna... so we'll do this by Zoom. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, obviously, I think the, the document's good for Melissa's recommendation on maybe not like doing the road show for legal and political reasons to kind of just sort of like uh, let the commissioners have a breath at it when we submit the agenda packet. I think that's fine. Um, I think uh, I can do like maybe a five minute, six minute little here was you know, presentation in particular, we would cover um, here was the intent, here was the process, and then here was the result and how we see it getting moved forward. Um, good news is we've pretty much documented the whole process, so we can include that pretty regularly throughout the whole thing. Um, I'd probably just give a little bit of background about why maybe this is important at the beginning and then sort of kind of uh, tail into it. Um, and just, I, I think really just sort of the major process points. I, I did not get the final, I didn't even get a draft done, um, but maybe talking a little bit about just sort of like we did go out and study some other examples. We thought about it, we discussed them, did a lot of feedback throughout the process, tried to listen openly as best we could. Um, yeah. And I think... I mean, could you have that done a little ways ahead of time, just so if we? Yeah, I was going to try to have it done for today, but I didn't. I didn't get to it. Didn't so. happen. Okay. Yeah, I can get it done this week, though, and maybe email it to everybody. We'll keep it real tight, though. Um, and then I'll just include like the 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 large note document as an appendix, sort of just as like a historical record, if anybody ever cares. If anybody ever wants to read it, you know. There, there yeah. You yeah, so just the three bullet points, like the intent of the document, the process we went, 
and the conclusion that we came to. And yeah, really sort of how it evolved from what we had to what we think is a much better result. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'll try to stick to maybe to, to, to process and just opinion will be general, but um, if other people want to, maybe uh, James and Tom in particular, if you guys want to prepare like um, statements for why you think it's a good document, I think that would be really helpful to have you guys maybe express a strong opinion after we sort of like express the general process and where we ended up. Well, if you can have that done this week, then we can at least be consistent with it. And, uh, sure. and then um, Melissa and I did get together last week, just the two of us to kind of talk about like what we saw like as commissioners of like things to maybe think about. Um, Melissa, do you want me to just share the screen on those bullet points? Did you want to talk through those at all? Yeah, let's, if you want to share screen, that sounds awesome. Okay, hold on just a second, let me get situated here. And just real quick, the intent of the document, I think, will be that it provides guidance for the executive team, which is the employees of the city, right, to execute and implement um, the, the those goals, against those goals and vision statement, right? Like, it's to provide them a guiding document to do their work. Is the yeah, it's like, it's like basically the legislative branches priorities and then we would give it to this like we would the city managers who would guide the yeah. employees yeah but I agree that it's like an executive branch kind of uh quick sheet um can you expand the text so it fills like your screen Carrie yeah I'm gonna try to give me one second here hold on Melissa sorry there's like a slider on the bottom right of your screen that works pretty well for me. Oh, I see it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, too big, too big. Hold on. I'm also very much used to touch screen, so you just have to give me a moment. This computer is not bad. How is that, Melissa? Is that better? Scroll over. You're muted, Melissa. Just scroll over teeny bit. So yeah, if you just that's oh, yeah. what a yeah. says it. Yeah, yeah. But the size looks better for me. Hopefully, everybody else too. I might and this is one. this is like our own words. It's perfect. just a yeah, this rough is like brain yeah. spell. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. No, no, go back to where you were. One more, right? Okay, back one. There. That's perfect. Okay. That's right. I'm gonna try and see if I can get my. Okay, I'm gonna move you guys out of my way. Um, so yeah, this is very much just like Melissa and I chatting and I took it down very quickly. So um, Melissa, I can read this out loud and if there was anything. So the last last uh, section of goals on the old plan were not measurable. We wanted to add something that was, we wanted to um, have something that was measurable. Uh, since the last iteration of the strategic plan, we had added more foundational doc, we have added more foundational documents to our toolbox. We wanted to utilize those so that they're not collecting dust on our shelf. Um, we tried to write things broadly so that the executive branch has some flexibility for realistic implementation. I probably spelled that wrong. Uh, we tried to balance topic themes, topic themes and needs for our community in this snapshot in time. Uh, we tried to make it a more manageable document, making it more clear and less broad using all the foundational documents that the city has recently created. Uh, what has the city been doing since the creation of the last strategic plan? Using those new um, documents to update the strategic plan. Um, and then this new strategic plan is tightening up on the focus for the city. Melissa, I'll let you, it's bound on through that. Yeah, I think a couple of things that we, that emerged when we were reflecting on our work together as a group of five was, um, you know, Wyeth, I think you had pointed out early on, like how goals should be written ideally in a strategic plan. And so we were reflecting on that was a significant change. Yeah, particularly, and then, particularly the vision wasn't uh, direction oriented, right? We weren't yeah. talking about going someplace, right? 
Yeah, exactly. And so I think you did it. I hope that that's something that you'll be able to talk a little bit about. Yeah. Um, Cause we spent time and we looked at other communities resources, like you already said. And then the other thing that I think is repeated throughout um, our little brainstorm session was thinking about how, if you look back at the last plan, that plan identified that we should create a housing action plan, the growth policy, et cetera. And now we're using those documents that were created to build out this new plan. So I think that's really awesome that we're part of the reason where this, why the strategic plan has changed in our iteration is because we did a whole bunch of work the last like three or four years on that last plan, which allowed us to like jump this forward based on what we learned. So those are a couple of themes I think that I, I mean, I might say just a, a slight bit differently that we didn't really like, we didn't sit back and invent goals. We took, we took the feedback from them, from the community and we sort of just distilled and highlighted what we hear regularly as the top priorities, right? We weren't, we weren't inventing anything new. These are all, everything we did is already in other documents. This is just a distillation of that. Yeah. And those documents all came from the last strategic plan. And they're all voted yeah. on approved and you know, right. We weren't, yeah. we weren't, we weren't sitting in a star chamber creating things. Right? Yeah, right. Like while we didn't have it a huge turn, we didn't have like a huge public turnout for these meetings. Everything that we're putting in this plan came from <laughs> came from huge public meetings, about yeah. documents that were created at huge public meetings. So we're just, yeah, like you said, I think you said it very well, Wyeth. Thank you. And in particular, we're trying to empower. Um, the management of the city to to understand uh, in all of this document, this wealth of documents, where where we think emphasis and outcome is derived, right? Where are we trying to go in particular with it? So it's it's designed to be a guiding document for management. Yeah, and just to be clear, we're actually guiding the commission to guide the management. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're actually saying, hey, commission, we're trying to like. Well, that's why the commission tasked they created this oh, committee what? was to make it easier for the commission so we didn't have to do it all at public, like at the commission meetings. So we distilled it down for the well, commission. Once, once the commission adopts this, it's their it's their direction to the staff. That's right. Just to the city manager. I know, I know I'm nitpicky, but no, this no, is no, a no, thing no, where no, people no, this is a little thing where that becomes a big thing when people no, miss no, what no. we're saying. That's why I like saying the, the management of the city because it's the city manager, but that city manager could choose to allow other people to also live through their empowerment of the document. Um, any progress on city manager? Yes, so we will Should we, have... Can we say that for the end? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> for like closing comments just so we can, is that okay? Yeah, we'll give it to you Tom, I promise. We'll give you that. Yeah, I'm happy to share an update. Yeah, I think this is great. I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I will get rid of this, but I think that that was just so that we remembered what, what we wanted to say, but I think why if you, um, I think you, I'm, I'm, I love what I'm hearing. Um, um, I thought what you guys did was very good. I mean, that the yeah. only thing is you might sort of say like what some of those foundational documents are, even though just because we know, mm -hmm. but you know, you know, like the growth policy, which didn't exist last time. We said a number. We think that's important to be implemented. I mean, Don't we forget about it. The, the largest general issue facing the community is how we grow in the long run. So we lean heavily on the growth policy that's adopted yeah. in order to just determine the strategic plan for the community. I mean, it's it's really impossible to underemphasize how important that thing is and how, how unique it is compared to a lot of others that I've seen anyway. It's a, it's a really good guiding statement on, on on that i think it's i've used i've talked to friends about it elsewhere just how remarkable it is and for uh, that's the same kind of feedback i've been getting with the people i've talked to is that it's gone from a massive difficult to understand document to a very 
well-defined group of action items. It really is just a roadmap for our perceived success, really. Mm -hmm. They liked it. Lots of people liked it. That's great. Right? Well, we'll see how the commission likes it. <laughs> they better love it. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the drawing board. <laughs> They're going to fire us and sort of do something else. What do you, we, you mean? What? Volunteer us. <laughs> well, it'll be interesting. We'll see. Um, I, think, I think another thing I would just, and we don't have to do this just in general, I would recommend that there's a, another point in time when this happens again. So it's like, is it five years from now? Does, does, does an ad hoc committee get put back together again to reevaluate it? But that these aren't, and the reason for that recommendation would be that these things do evolve. They don't, they are not. No, they should be looked at on a regular basis. I mean, the, what's, what's the, what's, I mean, just by feel, it would seem like you'd like it more often than five years. I well, think. I think we had it at like a five-year rolling document, so it's always being updated, but or it's always being worked on. But I think we were planning on it at around year three, but then the pandemic changed everything. So I feel like it was a good, I feel like we were revisiting it every year or talking about it every year, but then the pandemic messed everything up. And obviously Michael's gone now, so I can't ask him what we had originally talked about. Um, and then when it came back to the commission, that's when we decided to create the ad hoc committee to do that lifting for us so that it wasn't just us sitting around wordsmithing, but actually it got like a thorough review. So our recommendation is a commission recommendation where we're saying we did the heavy lifting. You know, this is just like the ad hoc, um, what's it called? The ARPA, the ARPA visioning committee where they're doing the lifting for the commission to make recommendations on how they think we should vote and what we should move forward. So well how it's been I think you're right, Wyeth. And I think it was we look we're gonna look at it, I feel like every year, but then because it started in 2018 and 2019 is when the pandemic started. If if you were my corporate consulting client, what I would ask you to do is your senior team, either board directors or your executive team, would review this every year. And then your executive team would create a set of executional imperatives for that year that had to be done in order to realize the dream. And then every five years, it's a blank slide rewrite is how we would do it. So, But then the blank unless, slate. Unless, you deter, unless it didn't feel right at some point. Yeah, I mean, you can always wipe it whenever like you can, always, you can always look at it again right you can change i mean it's it's stuff like when the when the growth plan was developed it almost mandated this just because it changed so much Melissa, I, that's just all general notes, Melissa. I mean you you guys can think about no it. i i was gonna say i think that sounds right to me on what we were doing. I feel like that was, it's hard to remember because so much has happened since 2019 and now, but yeah. it seems like what Wyatt you're suggesting sounds on par with what we were doing. Obviously we can't wait till year five to start it. We really should start in year four, given that it can take a lot of time and natural disasters can happen. Um, and also I like the idea of suggesting, making some recommendations to the commission about what we might expect or ways we might proceed on a yearly basis um, with the understanding that there's gonna be this new hire and people in this position also often have a way of managing executive functions. So they might bring their own style and flavor. So it's, you know what I mean? It's like, I wanna, I want to give the commission solid advice and also leave room for a new hire to show up as their whole self and also influence um, how they want to do their job. Does that make sense? Yeah, so if, if you were a board, of, if the commission is a board of directors 
and then you have a, a CEO who's your executive, right? That that relationship. Mm -hmm. The CEO should take this this strategic plan, and then ex and then document a set of twelve month objectives. This is what I'm trying to achieve against this plan for the next twelve months, and those should be very loose. They should be things like I I don't know present a recommend you know understand where the updates in the zoning code need to be. They, they're not like very detailed objectives. They're like, we're going to update the zoning code to reflect the growth plan this year. Or there, there are things like that. Not a lot of detail, but there's specific imperatives. Well, we're going to take this amount of time to do that. Right. That this is this is where we're trying to this year. And that would be what I would be looking for out of my executive officer, which, which is what are the imperatives, the things that must be done this year, right? Do we want so do folks do we want to decide to make that make that kind of a recommendation within our presentation to the commission? The the only thing I would probably explicitly want to recommend is that the commission set a date, uh, a number of years for this to live. If that's three years, and then they start the process again, and and I think the reason for that a little bit is political, which is just to say, like this isn't the end right like we're not we're not you're not deciding on something that's cast in stone right this is this is just the next evolution mm -hmm. or just making it a living document right okay yeah i mean i feel like five years is so long that somebody could serve a full term and never have a say on the strategic plan which is a problem because that's not why people get elected, right? People get elected because they have priorities. And so I'm struggling with this one because some commissions, some city manager commission forms of government, the city manager would actually work with the commission to develop a set of priorities every year mm -hmm. based on who was on the commission that year, knowing that it could fluctuate widely from year to year. And so I struggle with I'm struggling to figure out what the right number is because but I think I don't, I don't I think, think that's wrong. I don't think that's wrong. So that you should still have this is who we are and who we want to be. And then every year those priorities can shift based upon what you're trying to achieve in that year. That that should be very fluid. But if a if a commission if a commission term is four years, that seems to make more five years seems just a little long to me. And and it, it, Act Three is fine too. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. triples are always. I mean, great. and then what we've seen, right, is some things have not in five years, or well, since 2018, four years, some things have not been touched on the plan, and so that's a long time when we set a priority in 2018, and something hasn't been touched. And so, what? I like your idea, Wyatt, of figuring out some method of like, how are we going to check in with this, and how are we going to like make sure I mean, we're measuring and meeting the goals more than once every rewrite. I mean, again, if, if you were a private entity, our, we would have a quarter one board meeting where the executive leader would present a set of strategic priorities based upon this goals document for us to review. And then we would ratify that as their plan for the year. And that would traditionally include a budget Right, where are you going to spend money? Because that's ultimately where your priorities are. And then, uh, and then every three years or so, we would do a full flush, strategic flush. And again, the executive team would normally prepare that, not not somebody outside of that. But you do like the Chinese. We could have a thousand year, hundred year, and ten year, and one year. <laughs> a thousand year plan. Holy moly. So I, I would just say, I would say maybe we recommend three years, Melissa, and we just say we would recommend that this gets uh, reevaluated every three years. I'm interested in what, I'm more interested in what other people think too. I like where you're going, Wyeth. I'm, well, I'm curious what James and Tom and Kerry say too. Well, what you mean by three years is that it has some kind of a public review. Like this is a, 
citizens committee. It would, it would every three years, it, it wouldn't be an, an internal thing. It would be an external thing where you would gather outside input. Maybe and, follow the same process again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this isn't, I mean, they, the business of the city has been going on such as it is and would go on while this process happened. And, and this could just be a regular, a regular thing. I mean, it, my, my other recommendation would be to include it in the evaluation of the city manager's annual performance. Mm -hmm. Well, and what you're saying, what you're saying, as I'm understanding it, is, is the city manager sort of reports back to the commission how it's going every year, at least. Yeah. Maybe more often than that. And, and uh, then the and th but then, but then it gets a public review every three. With and it could be an ad hoc group just like us. Yeah. Yeah. Recommend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, that's and, and, and don't forget to say that we think that this has been a really good process, and and in our thinking has really sort of evolved as we've gone through it. Is to one what a strategic plan is, because that we sort of we sort of fumbled into this. But uh, there was a lot of good thought that that got us there, and uh, yeah. Well, and we were using, I mean, with Michael, um, the strategic plan was part of his evaluation. Um, that that was um, that was part of the evaluation of, of him. Um, in his yearly evaluation. So I would imagine, I, I guess it will depend on how that contract is written, but that would How often does that happen? Yearly, at least it, it was. It's a, it will depend on the contract, how the contract's written, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that that, you know, I, I think that that was happening. So that makes sense to me. Um, mm -hmm. I think three years seems like, you know, that kind of sweet spot to, to look at that again. Um, well, I mean, we can recommend it. They can yeah, change they can it. Do whatever, yeah, we can do whatever we want, but that's a good, I think it's a good recommendation. James, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I'm in with three. At least every commissioner has a chance to touch it and get on the commit or on the ad hoc if that's what they, if they really have a vested interest in one thing or another. I mean, we're going to take a look at the goals for the next three years going forward. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it seems like that's a good working solution. And it li keeps living too. It gives you a chance to have some slightly longer term goals in this one document. Not everything has to be done this year. Yeah. Not everything can be done this year. Oh, well, that would be tough. Yeah. No, but but then the but then the as the city as as the city manager starts to break it down into you know this is the most important thing to do this year or or not. I also liked your idea, Wyeth, of like yearly check-ins or more regular, like just as a, you know, like work sessions or something like that, where it's just a focused conversation around the strategic plan and what are we doing? And it gives a chance for all commissioners, new and, um, uh, what's the word? opposite of a new more tenured. seasoned tenured, tenured. Um, it, it gives it gives all commissioners a chance to input and the chance for the public as well to be involved in the process without doing a total rewrite yeah so I, I have no idea what like a public government process works like but the way again the way we do this is these these now get broken into execution imperatives for the year that execution imperative by area gets broken into um, uh, like uh, objectives that are measured by quarter, right? So like, it, you know, every one of these always has a revenue function if it's in a private industry, right? Like we're always trying to hit some sort of revenue target and that might have like, you know, expand East Coast sales office and develop new product line with marketing and blah, blah, blah. And then you'll know that has to be completed by X quarterly goal with this revenue target, right? And then non-revenue areas sound like, you know, 
revamp accounting to include seven new lines of business for clarity of reporting, right? And then there's like a specific quarter objective when that has to be done. And then every quarter that team then presents to the board and says, okay, here is how we did this quarter. And without a doubt, every executive team ever on the planet tries to take on more than they possibly can do, right? So you inevitably fail um, at certain things and then that gets readdressed. And then at the end of the year, all that gets wiped away, failed or not. And then all new strategic priorities get rewritten with new objectives by quarter, right? One thing I think is, I think this is interesting conversation we're having to make these recommendations to the commission, first of all. Um, one thing I think other city governments do for their work sessions, I believe, I believe in some cities there's executive work sessions, so it's not the elected body, but it's the city staff that have public meetings where they do this in public and the public can come and give comments and I think that um, I think there's a lot of possibility because that's who we'll build it out will be department heads. And oh. that's the way, and that's the way some budgets are actually done in some cities is through executive work sessions and public meetings. And so I think I think that that's something that Livingston, I don't know. I don't know what's possible. I think well, that it's I, interesting to consider. In a corporate situation, it's going to be more quantitative, and this is going to be more qualitative. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have revenue goals and profit goals and things that a, a public a public entity would not have. They would try to have certain things accomplished by a certain time, which would be it, with not, the one exception not of necessarily not not necessarily measured in money, except for budget achievements, right? But, right. Spend, spending or targets or budget al budget allocations. You, we, we we should have spent more money on this, or we we didn't have the staff resources to really accomplish this qualitative goal. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that's probably a little more in the weeds than I just only gave it. Yeah, no, we we don't need to get there. That, that but, that'll happen all by itself. I think we should just recommend that this is a reevaluated ad hoc committee every three years and that it's used as part of the performance management structure for the senior yeah, staff. That's all we have to say. That's it. That's all we have to say. Mm -hmm. is, everyone, is everyone good with that? Yeah. Hi. Right. Melissa? Yeah. That recommendation good? Okay, great. I just want to make sure. I will incorporate that into my six minute presentation. <laughs> I don't think anybody's gonna be having a timer on you just so you know why. <laughs> I've I've got it I've got it in with the got it in with the chair and vice chair. <laughs> and I don't think they're gonna we'll keep it we won't be cutting you off. Well fate's pretty on the ball with that clock. <laughs> this but, uh, this scheduled public comment though is different than yeah Schedule public comment a bit more, yeah. <laughs> we can we can go into the weeds if people really want to uh, with questions. But, yeah. uh, so that that's pretty much wraps so up. Are we, so let me ask this, and Melissa, I'm kind of almost asking you for process too to make sure that I'm working process. So if wife works on this document, um, creates this PowerPoint, can he send it out to us? For us to look at and be like, okay, great. Yeah. What we're going to do, or do we have to do that in a public meeting? I mean, I would say, I'll just say it's my. But it probably has to be in a public, time. yeah, I would say it has to be in a public meeting. But I think that Wyeth can just say, like, that we talked about the important points and that's what he's presenting. Yeah. I'd love, if, yeah, feel free to tell me I'm wrong. I think, I think you could probably. Yeah, I mean, we'll all be there, right? Can all five of us make it? Yeah. yeah. So any of us could, yeah. So Carrie, if you're running that meeting for me, like you, you know, you can just make sure that everybody has a chance to chime in as, yeah. if you call on them, yeah. I think that's good. So okay. we're done. Are we good? Why do you have what you need? You feel comfortable? Everybody else feels good? Like give me a thumbs up that you got what you wanted yeah, to make sure I've heard. Okay. I think we've fully, fully vetted it. Okay. So have as, we, 
Have me do comments first. Okay, you're gonna do comments first. Okay, I'll have you do comments first. Um, and I guess I can do comments too and say what I wanna say then. So I guess, what do we usually do? We do- Usually open it to like, public comment. Yeah, I usually, it's flip flop, but we'll go ahead and open it. So I'm opening it to public comments. I see no public on the meeting. So public comment is open, public comment is closed. Um, so now we will go to member comment and Melissa Newt, you can go first. Did you, I'll give this the hiring update. Okay. Yeah. So um, I, I'm gonna tell you that the contractor thought we'd maybe get like 13 applicants and maybe like, two, you know, two, three, four people that would rise to the level of entering the process of interviewing. Guess how many applicants we got? 25. What? 25? Like about <laughs> double what was predicted? That's amazing. And then the contracting firm does the first round of interviews for us. That's what we pay them for. So they started with nine people to interview, which is amazing. And they whittled it down. I think we'll, I think the commission will probably have around four or five. Um, we'll have to see as it gets closer. We're just now getting to the point um, where we're we're going to be dialing in the process. So at the end of this month, we'll have a commission work session. I'm not sure if it's public or executive, like closed session. I just, I'm not sure yet. Um, but in at that time, or a combination, we'll figure out more of the process. They're going to advise us on how we might do advisory groups. Um, with, Cardo, with Cardos, we just, uh, we got to sit in the room and write uh, an evaluation, but not comment. Or ask questions. So, so when Cardus was when Cardus was hired, that was um, we did not hire a firm. So this is a professional firm. That's all they do is like help governments get employees. And so, um, I'm really interested in hearing what they're going to say. They there'll be a role, I think, or some way for the public and staff to give their input. But it's ultimately a commission decision. And so, um, we'll see how that goes. And then. The interviews should be happening, I think, in about the third week. So early in the week, the 17th and 18th, and there'll probably be some long, long days for commissioners and several interviews. And we don't know, we don't know what it totally looks like yet because the decision for how it looks has to be made by the commission, and the commission has not been presented with our options yet. So there's a lot of talk about how it's going to be, but ultimately the commission has not decided, and this is squarely a commission decision but i'm really excited i got some teasers about the applicants and i just have to say i think some of you are going to be really interested in these people and where they come from and their backgrounds like good i think that it's going to be really i think it's going to be really interesting and um Is yeah, i don't want to i don't want to divulge too much but i'm so much biting my tongue to like I think it could be really exciting for Livingston, the possibilities. So I'm stoked. So more, so more people wanted to wanted to come to Livingston than the search firm thought. It <laughs> yeah, I think it was a really great flyer that they put together describing our community and like the flyer had all the staff and um, commissioner input, and then they sort of described our town and what our what the benefits of the job are and what the challenges and opportunities, all that. And it's, I mean, Livingston sells itself, right? We're, our town is so beautiful. And so it looks beautiful in this brochure and I can just imagine it against brochures for other cities. And I can imagine how appealing Livingston might look compared to other communities. I mean, Livingston- We're gonna, we're gonna look better than Rust Belt, Ohio. <laughs> right. So, I, so I'm really excited, you guys. Like, I hope that um, you're all able to like tune in and participate as, as you're able to, because I know you're all really invested in this, like Carrie and I are. And I'm, I'm just so yeah. excited to meet these people. Like, I'm just so excited to meet these people and see like what brings them to want to live here with us. So it's going to be great. Well, I think. If you need public involvement, tap us, I'm sure everybody will step. So yeah, this is all going to happen in October. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you're gone, Tom. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't go. I can't. If it's maybe there's going to be virtual things, we'll figure it out, Tom. I am gonna. I'm gonna move that we uh, adjourn though, because I think we're we're good. I think we're done. Yeah. Any other comments? any other comments? Does anybody else want to say anything? I want to say how happy I am to work with all of you. Also, you're all just 
it's been a joy, as I've said before. It's it has been joy. fun to get to know everybody. We 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 need a beverage hour though at some point. Yes, that's that was my that was gonna be my comment. I would like to create a beverage hour for us to get together and, and do that. So I will either look after the that. commission vote. After the commission vote. <laughs> you want to do it after like, the commission vote? We can do it before after. and after. Let's no, we can't have a quorum. Oh, uh, we got to wait till we're, we're, we're not going to do any business. Well, Tom and I are, are fairly regularly at Glenn's on Thursdays. If other people happen to come by, just, okay. where it, it's a it, it's not every week, but maybe every other. Glenn's, okay. Glenn's has changed. It has. It's the laughing haven't been, joke. Haven't been there since. Okay. Well, maybe tomorrow. That's another. That's another keep, us, keep us posted. Keep us posted. Okay. So I'm going to say, let's adjourn. We'll look for a wise email and surely see all of you on November 1st. Um, so I uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? Yes. Second. OK, I have, a, I have a motion by Tom and a second by wise. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, this meeting of the Guiding Principles Strategic Planning Ad Hoc Committee is adjourned at 1.43 PM. Thank you all. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.